Find integers m and n, such that, the three algebraic expressions are simultaneously perfect cubes. We let the three algebraic expressions, equal u cubed, v cubed, and w cubed, respectively, where u v and w are integers. Then by expanding the algebraic expressions, we have, u cubed, equals 6 m n, minus 6 m, plus 6 n, minus 6. And we label this as equation 1. v cubed, equals m n plus m, minus n plus 5. And we label this as equation 2. w cubed, equals m n minus 2 m, plus 2 n minus 4. And we label this as equation 3. Equation 2 times 2, plus equation 3 times 4, we have, 2v cubed, plus 4w cubed, equals 2 times mn, plus m, minus n plus 5, plus 4 times mn, minus 2m, plus 2n minus 4. Combine like terms, which is equal to, 6mn, minus 6m, plus 6n, minus 6. Which is equal to, the right hand side of equation 1. So we have, u cubed, equals 2v cubed, plus 4w cubed. We label this as equation 4. Because 2 divides 2v cubed, plus 4w cubed, so 2 divides u cubed. That is to say, u cubed is even. So u must be even. We let u equal 2u1, where u1 is an integer. Then substitute u equals 2u1 in equation 4, we have, 8u1 cubed, equals 2v cubed, plus 4w cubed. Divide the equation by 2, we have, 4u1 cubed, equals v cubed, plus 2w cubed. Rearrange the equation, we have, v cubed, equals 4u1 cubed, minus 2w cubed. We label this as equation 5. Because 2 divides 4u1 cubed, minus 2w cubed, so 2 divides v cubed. That is to say, v cubed is even. So v must be even. We let v equal 2 v1, where v1 is an integer. Then substitute v equals 2 v1 in equation 5, we have, 8 v1 cubed, equals 4 u1 cubed, minus 2 w cubed. Divide the equation by 2, we have, w cubed, equals 2 u1 cubed, minus 4 v1 cubed. We label this as equation 6. Similarly, we know that, w must be even. So we let w equal 2 w1, where w1 is an integer. Substitute w equals 2 w1 in equation 6, we have, 8 w1 cubed, equals 2 u1 cubed, minus 4 v1 cubed. Divide the equation by 2, and rearrange the equation, we have, u1 cubed equals 2 v1 cubed, plus 4 w1 cubed. We label this as equation 7. We can see that, when we set u, v, and w, to be 2 u1, 2 v1, and 2 w1, respectively, equation 4 becomes equation 7. And they share the same equation structure. So we can take this process repeatedly. When we set uk, vk, and wk, to be 2 uk plus 1, 2 vk plus 1, and 2 wk plus 1, respectively, we have, uk plus 1 cubed, equals 2 vk plus 1 cubed, plus 4 wk plus 1 cubed. So u equals 2 to the power of k, times uk plus 1. v equals 2 to the power of k, times vk plus 1. And w equals 2 to the power of k, times wk plus 1. As u v w, u k plus 1, v k plus 1, and w k plus 1, all are integers. So u, v, and w must be equal to 0. Then we have a system of equations. 6 times m plus 1, times n minus 1, equals 0. m minus 1, times n plus 1 plus 6, equals 0. And m plus 2, times n minus 2, equals 0. We label them as equations 8, 9, and 10, respectively. From equation 8, we know that, either m equals negative 1, or n equals 1. From equation 10, we know that, 
either m equals negative 2, or n equals 2. So clearly, m n equal negative 1, 2, or negative 2, 1, satisfy both equations 8 and 10. Next, we will verify whether they satisfy equation 9. When m n equal negative 1, 2, the left hand side of equation 9, equals negative 1 minus 1, times 2 plus 1, plus 6, which is equal to 0. When m n equal negative 2, 1, the left hand side of equation 9, equals negative 2 minus 1, times 1 plus 1, plus 6, which is equal to 0. So both sets are solutions.